What's good guys, this is your host, O34, bringing you some new GOT content. This is going to be a new series where we'll look at unique picks in the GOT. Pokemon that are picked by only one team out of all 128 teams. We'll find some memes, we'll find some underrated mons, and a few lone favorites, and just maybe you'll find something you want to use in your next draft. So each video, we're going to have a quick rundown of the Pokemon itself, looking at the stats, the typing, the ability, etc. Now we have an interview with the team's coach to see why they picked that particular Pokemon. And finally, we'll look at a few replays of the Mon, either doing some work or just getting bodied. So with that, let's get into the first Mon. In the first episode, we'll be looking at the GB Garchomp's Pangoro. Pangoro is a dark fighting type panda. It's currently ranked RU in the Smoga meta, and as you can see from the stat, it's got a really high attack, 124. It's got some decent bulk with 95 HP. That's extremely slow though, with only 58 speed, going under 60. The stats and the typing lend itself to being a really powerful wall breaker, because it can use really powerful stab dark and fighting moves like super power or knockoff. And on top of that, it gets a lot of good abilities, like mold breaker in particular, it's the standout ability of course being able to break through levitate with earthquake. Iron fist is also amazing as it gives you a lot of uh, big boost on moves like drain punch or ice punch or thunder punch. Scrappy is not that useful because Pangoro can already hit Ghost for super effective damage, but an ability on its own, it's pretty good. It's easy to see how versatile this Mon can be in the League format, especially when you look at its moveset. Obviously it gets big stab moves like Knock Off, it gets Drain Punch, Super Power, it also gets a lot of coverage like Earthquake, Thunder Punch, Iron Head, Ice Punch, Stone Edge, uh, Zen Headbutt, Gunk Shot, it even gets Exeter if you want that. It has a very wide attacking move pool. And on top of that, it gets a few setup and utility moves like Bulk Up, Swords Dance, Parting Shot, and Taunt. So you can run sets like Swords Dance with Gunk Shot, Knock Off, and Drain Punch. But you can also decide, hey, let me get a Parting Shot set on there. Let me get a Bulky Taunt set, or let me get a Bulk Up, Sub, Focus Punch set, something like that. So Pangoro stands out not just as a powerful attacking mom, but it also brings a lot of utility to the table. I asked the coach of the GB Garchomp's Momo a couple questions about his pick. He wasn't capable of recording, so I'm just going to read out his answers to you guys. And my first question was, why did you pick this Mon? He responded with the following. He said he needed a Dark type and a Fighting type, and Pangoro was 2 in 1. He also mentioned the insane coverage he gets, and that he can get an optimal matchup every time by just changing up the moves. He also said that he wanted to try out some of the Z moves, particularly Z Me first, which raises the speed by two stages which is obviously incredible for a 58 speed mod. I also, I personally want to add to that, that he also gets C Parting Shot, we can fully heal a mod, so that's very useful as well. My second question for him was, what are your expectations of this mod? And he said that it's done pretty well so far, but mainly in test battles. In game one, it broke through a Powdown and killed the Starmie. And in game two, he didn't even need it because Necrozma did so much work for him. But you can see some matchups where it will thrive, depending on the set. And question three was, if the mod got sniped, what would he have gotten instead? And he mentioned that he would get Scrafty because of its nice bulk, it's pretty versatile and offers the exact same typing as Pangoro does. But he chose Pangoro over Scrafty because it's he just prefers offensive mods in draft format. With all that done, let's get into the replays. Here we got the only replay we're gonna look at actually because in week two, Pangoro was brought by Momo but it didn't show up. So instead we've got the replay of Momo versus Josh Master 3000. Um, kind of pretty nice team actually these are some scary mods but i can already see uh, just looking at the teams how much work pangoro can do against this setup right like it can beat victini with the right moves it can well not maybe not victini but it should be able to beat the bisharp it should be able to threaten the hydreigon and as we know from the interview it's going to kill the starmie so let's see what momo does with this pangoro in this replay Outright, Josh Master 3000 starts at the Hydreigon and gets scared by the Pangoro, immediately goes out into the Manectric, doesn't even U-turn. Uh, which is weird to me if it's Scarfed and it can obviously outspeed a Scarf Pangoro, but it just doesn't want to risk a fighting type move, I suppose. It might be a bit of a slow Hydreigon. Or it was just looking for an Intimidate on the Manectric, I'm not very sure, but the Pangoro immediately went out as well. So probably not a pivoting set this time around, otherwise I feel like a Z parting shot would have been a, a not a Z parting shot, a regular parting shot would have been a normal move. Or a good move to choose. Let's see if it comes back in. Nope. I'm gonna look for a turn where Pangoro is available. Oh, there you go. 
So as you can see here, the Charizard X gets killed by the Mega Manectric, and he puts in the Pangoro. There it is. And immediately, he's just threatened and swaps it out. The Drain Punch comes out from Pangoro. It hits Starmie for 28%, which is nice for a resisted move. That's pretty decent. And he actually weathers the Skull, decides, hey, I'm going to risk his burn, I'm going to risk his move, and I'm just going to go for it and knock off. So the Pangoro is going to come in here for the second time, or the third time actually since it came in in turn one. It's going to send out the Bisharp, Josh Master 3000 is, and then he swaps out into Bangoro, which is not caring about the knockoff at all since it's a quadruple resist, I believe. And that's actually a life or Pangoro, which explains the damage on the... and then it dies. Well... <laughs> With that, we're going to wrap up today's episode of the Unique Pick Showcase. I hope you've learned something. I hope that Pangoro seems like a more favorable pick for you next time around in the GOT. And we'll see what Momo ends up doing with this Pangoro. I'm excited to see it, and I hope you are too. See you next time, guys. Later.